Hey everybody, it's John, Lake Erie Chestnuts. Middle of July, 2019. And we are getting some rain. I don't know if you can see it. It's sprinkling right now, a nice soft soaking rain. You see over there in the distance here, it's coming straight towards us. You see that? That's rain coming to us. The chestnuts needed some rain. I watered these for the only the second time in the five full years that we've been in existence and that was only when they went through a dry spell in the first year and they never showed that they needed rain they never curled or anything like that but it had been almost two and a half weeks since we'd had any discernible rain which is a long time here so hopefully that forced the chestnuts to put down some deeper roots but in the meantime I'm happy to see a little rain so let's look at some of the trees this is a little bit of a puny looking tree this is a uh, trees planted in 2015 so some of them that one's only maybe eight and a half nine foot tall no no blossoms or anything this tree I'm looking at it only a few catkins at the end this is a tall tree though this is big this is a ching planted in the same year and this one's maybe 14 foot tall, 12, 14 foot tall. But we'll move on through these trees. Let's see if we can show you some female burrs. This tree's good 14 foot tall, beautiful tree, maybe 16. You can hear the rain coming. That's that rain I told you it was coming. Now, let's go over here. This tree, has quite a few bur uh, male blossoms. Let's keep looking, see if we got it. I think we're gonna have maybe less females than last year, less burrs. I think it may be a combination of, I didn't fertilize them. Maybe that dry weather, they're pretty. But I don't see a lot of, I don't see any females on this so begin the orchard's young let's see what we can get on this tree this tree is a really tall tree this tree is going to be two inches at the base or three oh i've got to pull it all the way down without breaking it i'm looking again we got some older catkins and they're towards the end and I don't see a lot of burrs. So we may be low on the burrs this year. I'm okay with that. I'm not counting on major production until their ninth year. And I'm, I've seen some female catkins, but I think I'm gonna have less production this year. And that rain's really starting to come now. See the clouds? Love it. Here we got some catkins up there reaching the end of their time here. Let's just pull it down. No females on this one. Now the rain's really coming. I think maybe I should head back to the truck or else I'm gonna get real wet. I was okay with getting a little damp. So we're getting moisture at the orchard. That fires me up. Hopefully you guys are getting the moisture you need. Makes my food plots happy, makes my trees happy. We'll see if we get any burrs this year. I saw a few, so hopefully they got fertilized. I wasn't able to show you any on the trees I showed. This is probably just a brief storm. This isn't even showing up on radar. But hopefully you're having a great time this summer. Hopefully you're out enjoying time with family and friends. Enjoying that beautiful summer weather. Take time and enjoy life. Plant a few trees. Take care of the ones you planted. And post some pictures there on Lake Erie Chestnuts on Facebook if you got it. Or make your own video and tag me in it. Lake Erie, tag Lake Erie Chestnuts or 
something like that, or hashtag Lake Erie Chestnuts. And uh, I'd love to watch what you're doing. Maybe I can learn something from you because I'm certainly not an expert. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll get some more interesting things. Hopefully, if we see a few birds pop out here as they start expanding and we end the time of our blossom and find out how many birds we actually set. Last year, we had over 180 nuts. I didn't count the actual birds, but I'd guess that's out of about 90 or 100 birds. So maybe we'll do that much this year. Maybe we'll do less. It's been drier this year. Real wet, cold spring, followed by real hot, dry, middle of the year, right during the bloom time. So who knows? That's farming. You can't control the weather well. I don't have irrigation set up, which is rarely needed here. So I'm not going to set it up now either. So we'll see how it goes over the next few years. Thanks for watching me here. Post your pictures. Make some comments. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great rest of July. We'll see you in a video here in the near future.